Okay, welcome back everyone. This is theCUBE's live coverage from Monaco for the Monaco Crypto Summit. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. We're getting all the action here as the world goes decentralization, as assets from the physical world connect with virtual, it's a hybrid steady state. Mataya Baldessari's here, founder and CEO of Epico Play. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, John. So I'd love to have you on. Love the Italian accent. Get a little, get a little European going here. <laughs> We're from Silicon Valley. We are in Italy. Great to have you on. So tell us what's Epic, Epic, uh, Epic Co Play. What is it? So Epic Co Play is an innovative startup with the aim with the, to digitalize the sport industry, to support clubs, federation, leagues to move into the digital era, right? So we build up a technology. It is uh, has actually two heads. One is a kind of white label technology for you know small, bigger club, and then a, a B2B platform, a B2C platform, epicoplay.com where you actually uh, can open up your own, your own engaging channel straight away and allow clubs to have an infrastructure, a digital infrastructure, to engage directly with their community, to monetize it and to make together some, let's say, two-way engagement experience. Because we are used today to just, you know, a communication usually by this brand that has one way. So I tell you something. Here is something, you know, we create something together with, between the brand, that is a club, and the community itself. So that's uh, it's a kind of a habilitator <laughs> of this experience. Yeah, so I saw, I saw something on YouTube a day and a half ago. Um, Roma soccer team introduced a new player. Um, and the fans were going crazy. They had a little light show. So he comes out on with a big Digital Bits logo on this jersey. Uh, I forget who the player was, you know, the young player. Dybala, Paolo Dybala. Yes, and the fans, packed place. Um, and I know it's got the sponsorship, Digital Bits. So Digital Spitz is, is sponsoring that club, but they're the underlying technology. Are you over the top? Are you building apps on top of Digital yes. Bits? For I mean, that's the, the also one of the you know touching point of our partnership. Digital Bits, uh, today we announce our partnership with them, with Digital Bits Foundation. They're going to become you know, our blockchain partner. They will, be, they will support us on offering the token service to clubs. And for sure, we're going to we, we aiming to create our own token for Epico Play platform, uh, which will be always with the substances of the Digital Bits blockchain. And uh, and a second step will be for sure optimizing the relationship of Digital Bits, you know, also around the the, the world. Yeah. But on our self, ourselves already has you know a big pipeline of clubs on boarding. Mm -hmm. And I was telling you before in the in the in the summit is not just. We don't want just the top clubs, right? That's easy. They have money. We want to help, you know, sm smaller clubs to go into this new era. Otherwise, they're going to lose a lot of audience. They're going to lose a lot of, yeah. of revenue. That's that's. A it's interesting, Matai. I was telling uh, earlier guests we had on about the metaverse and sports. Sports clubs have been a, been savvy around data um, for a decade, over a decade. All the big clubs that have TV contracts certainly. They know how to manage, tech, use technology to manage the team. They have technology to manage the stadiums, and they have technology to manage the, the fan experience, which was normally ticketing and, you know, I got a beer, I go to my seat, get stuff delivered, get a shirt, you know, spot pricing, being smart. Sure. For decades, so with data. So, okay, that's good. That's a nice foundation. Now, with the digital side of things and NFTs, you got assets and you got a whole nother level of interaction exactly. on the assets, the player, the brand, the, uh, the fan who can be a player and a fan. And so like now the multiple dimensions of new use cases. Completely. Uh, I believe it is it's like, again, a new era, no? So the, the touching point are much more. Our, let's say, no, our, the Gen Z, you know, the teenager, like they need more, more, much more input during the week. You know, for our, for example, for my generation, going to the stadium was the most exciting thing. So we were waiting for Sunday <laughs> to go to the stadium, right? <laughs> now the kids, no. Actually, they have so many information that if you don't engage them through this kind of fun engagement during the week, they will may play PlayStation, you know, play whatever gaming on, on Sunday instead of watching the live match. But uh, to, to take that example, let's stay with that for a second. You use your personal experience, because I felt the same way for sports. If they could reach you during the week, you'd be engaging with them. Exactly, you collect more you data. Ready. You were Exactly, you collect more data and mostly you have a higher quality of the data itself. Because you see their behavior, you see what they like, 
not just on the offline pitch, right? But you can track everything here. So yeah. that's, uh, I think, the big step that uh, uh, we're bringing also into, uh, into sport. You know, I did a talk over 15 years ago at MIT, and I said, Web 2, um, Web 1 was about information, Web 2 is about connections, and Web 3 is about relationships. Okay, not just who you, you know, connected to with devices, relationships, and guess what? Community, NFTs, self-expression, engagement, and the engagement patterns are changing as well. You're, in, you're talking about things that are, aren't around the net right now. Yeah, exactly. This is new, new benefits. It's a new benefit, completely. New benefits to the, everybody. Completely. For everybody, and especially, you know, actions that clubs need to do if they want to evolve. You know, that's, that's I think, really crucial for them. Great, you're this. building on digital bits. Where are you with the company? Talk about the origination story. How did it get started? Okay. Did you wake up one day and the apple fell on your head <laughs> and you said, whoa, what happened? What's going on? So the story is this one. I work in media industry, sport media industry for, with a big group in London for a long time. And then I was also the CEO of a, a sport OTT broadcaster. It is international, but I was taking care about Italy. And while I was getting along with clubs, federation, leagues, I said, there is a missing here, right? They, they still not consider this as a main aspect. And they always scared of investment or investing money in this, right? So that's why we say, okay, you know what? When I quit my job, we say, okay, I won't, I'm going to... You just quit your job, so I'm going to quit. I say, okay, no, I finished the season. Then I say, okay, <laughs> done. Now I'm already thinking about what's going on. Yes. And then I open Epico Play with also with this mission. Say, okay, there is an opportunity. There is a needs in the market. And again, John, I'm not talking about just the top three teams of each league. I'm talking all, all about also all, all, the teams. all the team, professional clubs. In rugby, in basketball, in volleyball, you know, all the sports need this change. Yeah, some are bigger than others, but it's a power law. Exactly. They all have communities. But if you aggregate all the small, small and medium team, you know, right, you reach 1.5 billion fans, right? So mm -hmm. huge amount of, of data. And again, with our technology, we are able to give this environment without a, an investment from the club. So they are more open, they feel more like comfortable, and we're going to make money together with and them. And they contribute the assets. So they're partner. Yeah, they are, we are completely partners. So we build the ecosystem with them, for them, and we make money together. It's a together. joint venture kind of, but not formally, but it's exactly. a win-win. It's, a win it's a not, win -win. A, not a lot of money out of pocket. They put a little bit probably into integrate then, but exactly. you know, not big numbers. Not a lot of impact on the cash flow because in their mind it's still for sure. Yeah. The pitch, you know, the field is the most important thing. So, yes. so that's why, okay, then we will help them. Okay, don't worry. It's all upside for them. Do they have a rev share exactly. on things too? Yes, exactly. So you do a business deal on their side. Yes. So they're happy. They have the happy. option for the future. And we build up everything for the future, then we keep starting and keeping monetizing together. So into different So ways. can you get us some good tickets when the Cube is in town? Whenever you want, John. <laughs> <laughs> of course. What's next for you? Take us through, you fundraising, you're building so your team. Take a minute to put a plug in for your company. We, uh, we actually had the end, uh, like a seed round of 1.2 million uh, between uh, you know, a, a group, investment group that we're working with, Sazer Venture, uh, you know, one big telco company, and some angel, strategic angel, investor. Now we are also closing another bridge round. To go then in 2023 to make a big round, you know, and, and scale internationally. Mm -hmm. So already now we are approaching five to seven countries, new countries, especially, you know, also going to South America where there is a massive adoption of this kind of, of opportunity, especially in terms of data. Then straight after we're going to, you know, make this fundraising and expand our business, be really aggressive, or as I told you before, on the fact that, okay, you know what, we do the investment. Just let's build us your ecosystem together, yes. and there we see that you know can be a differentiator element between eventually other competitors who will come out after. Okay, great venture. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for coming on the Cube. We'll see you at the Yacht Club Thank you so later much. today, the big gala event. It's Stay what? right there. We're wrapping it up here. I'm in John Furrier here, live in Monaco with the Cube, Monaco Crypto Summit all the next generation, new wave of, of businesses being refactored with new technologies, bringing value. That's what decentralization is, Web3, all coming together. Of course, theCUBE's covering it like a blanket. I'm John Furrier. We'll be back with more coverage after this short break. <laughs>